Hi, man. How are you? Cool. You good? Yeah. So, okay. Can I ask you a quick question? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So, if you had the opportunity to be on TV, what would you make out of it? What would you do? What would you say? Do you have anything to say? No. No, nothing? No, nothing. <laughs> nothing. If you, had a, if, you, if you had the opportunity to be in the position where you could, where you could be on TV, <laughs> what would you say? Nothing. No. The best greetings. Uh, greetings from Poland, yes. Greetings from Poland. Okay, cool, cool. Nice. Representing. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. Greetings from Poland. A whole country have now greeted our very own TV show. That didn't go so bad, did it? I'm happy. Well, Matthias. Yeah, well, you're done. <laughs> yeah. Well, the boys in Karyohan made it seem so easy to interact with people and have an outdoor studio. They are so professionals. I mean, they have like probably like they've been doing this for three years, so they probably have like 99% more experience than we do in that field. Eric Solbakken is such a people's person; he can stop anyone at any time and get any answer. But I mean, I think we got we we got answers from people, and I'm overall satisfied with the results. I'm very happy we have gotten the training from Mr. Solbakken and Mr. Hope and uh, we have tried it out a little bit. We know there's a lot to learn but still we might say that the street is not our strength. Oh my god we're getting a bit run over by a fucking huge truck Mr. Oh Matthias. my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hasse Hope and uh, Mr. Solbakken are a lot better on the streets than we are. I think we I think our strength is probably when we when we hang out with people on their turf in their houses that's when we get like comfy with people and this week we went home to a guy called Mikael Willixen who is famous for starting the very new trend of skate skiing where you are putting winter skis you're putting wheels on them and then you uh, ski around on the summer yeah it's like it's like it's like skiing but in the summer he also has his own uh, sunglasses brand and yeah, he's a general superstar. He's a website. He's like he's got he's got it going for him. He's super young. He's hanging out with all the extreme sports twin tip skiers, and he actually lives on this street. So let's go. He said to the right after the elevator. Do you think it's this one? Famous Mikael, famous Mikael. Wow, it's so cool you invited us over. Or maybe we invited us over. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. You're getting a Coca Cola. So now we're at Mr. Mikael's crib and we're just going to check out some of the special features of this living unit. Right now, what, what would you call this, this living space we're in now? Living room? It's the living room. It's the living room. Okay. That spot is where I hang out. Okay. And if it's really nice, I hang out there. <laughs> Ooh, very exotic. It's like a it's like a summer but winter balcony. Yeah, it's uh, super sweet because in the winter you can use it as a fridge because it's really cold in it. Ah. And in the summer I have a small fridge over here. And you can also take off the windows, so it's really cool in the, in the summer. Excellent, excellent. And for those of you that don't know Mikael, he's quite famous for sort of mixing summer and winter up <laughs> all together. That we're gonna get back to in a little bit. Yeah, sure. So now that we checked out Mr. Mikael's apartment, it's about time we sit down and get to know him a little bit more and see what he actually does. So, why don't you come and have a seat with me? So we're with Mikael, which is pretty famous. I've seen you on real TV before, <laughs> which is pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Yeah, you sort of uh, invented your own new summer sports, sort of. Yeah, uh, I was tired of not skiing. So um, I contacted some friends of mine at uh, Stereo Skis and also Board Shop. And uh, yeah, got the material together and made a skate ski. Skate ski, cool. Let's check out the video. But isn't it skate ski what, like okay? What's 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 the concept? What drove you to this concept? 
Uh, it's a uh, kind of um, what do you say? A media stunt for uh, my new ski magazine. You have uh, a new ski magazine? Yeah, it's called uh, afterbang.no. Ooh. Afterbang.no. Mikael's got his own ski magazine. Check it out. I'm pretty sure our graphics department would make like one of those like logos on the bottom of the screen now. So you can yeah, just for sure just check out what's here and just go into this. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. What kind of ski magazine did you launch? Uh, ski magazine for twin tip skiing. Only twin tip. Only twin tip, and uh, with focus on park and urban. So it's like a, it's a ski site for people that skis in the city, sort of. Yeah, and ski, snow parks, jumps, rails. Ah, okay. So all those things are included. Cool. cool. But yeah. so basically, you you kind of went out and you just combined skiing with skateboards, and you sort of made very long skateboards to attach to your feet. Is that correct? <laughs> isn't that, yeah, isn't that what yeah. it is? Yeah, you can call it that. <laughs> wow. How does um, it work? Uh, Let's check it out. Me, me, medium plus. <laughs> medium plus. Medium. It has room for improvements. <laughs> yeah, like any good idea should have room <laughs> for improvements. A lot of room for improvements. Okay, so now yeah. this is uh, this is at your doll? Um, uh, yeah, this is uh, some guy we found. <laughs> I don't remember his name. Okay. Uh, local I'm skater. sitting in the background. And, uh, You're a bit jealous because he's got the snowboard. Now he's got the skateboard and uh, he can skate now. Yeah, and he probably snowboard in the winter. And I ski, so I don't have anything to do in the winter. It's it. Uh, oh my god, is that you? Yeah. Oh so, my god. So you're, you're a very good skier. Yeah. Also, pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I kind of dream back. It's flashes from, mm -hmm. uh, from the winter. Classic film trick there. So you're alive uh, during the winter, right? And you're yeah. just trying to recreate the winter during the summer. You miss That's it so it. much. You That's just it. go to hang out in the... Sribon. Yeah, Oslo Winter Park. Yeah, even in uh, summer. Yeah. Chilling out. Dreaming the about the winter. It's really good camera work from my friend uh, Stian Rå. Stian Rå. made a video. Cool. Shout out there. Woo! Touchdown! You did a touchdown! Oh my god. But, wow, oh cool, my cool. god. So... <laughs> What about these tricks that you're doing? You don't use uh, the ski poles? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't see any point. It's not cool anymore? No. You don't use them for anything. They, so just, they just hang on from the times when we were doing the we, uh, cross-country skiing. Yeah, we only ski down, so... You don't really need them. No, not really. So but are so. you any good at this? Like, do you win competitions and like, are you... Uh... Uh, it's uh, quite a time since I did compete. Yeah, um, are you old now in the ski scene? Yeah, I'm How freaking retired. I'm 24. 24? <laughs> so now we're looking at just normal skis, right? Yeah, yeah. They're just normal skis that you're just literally ruining on purpose here. By yeah, doing new. Brand new. Brand stairs. new. <laughs> okay. And these are uh, wheels from like, what are they, like roller skates or what oh, is it? from uh, the penny boards. And oh, yeah? uh, penny cruiser trucks. Excellent. And then you so just like screw them on and just like, kind of is this the first time you do it? Do you not, do you not know if it's going to work here or you just, I like. Uh, we just had a quick talk and we figured. It's you gonna... knew it was going to work, right? This has uh, to work. It has to work. It just. And now when we see you there, we know it's going to, you know. <laughs> it's going to go down. You're, 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 be you're becoming <laughs> happier now. Okay, so you're going to take it to the skate park. Yeah, back to the skate park. Where those shoes got to be, those uh, shoes got to be a bit hot in the summer. It's really hot. And those pants are really oh hot. Oh my god, well. trick, trick. Oh no. Excellent. I forgot you had the wheel, so you hooked back on the thing there. <laughs> yeah. Had a little wow. crash. Good thing your ski uh, ejected. I only used to ski in the winter, so I wasn't prepared for the. Uh, See, <laughs> is the this trucks. the first time you try it? Yeah, it's the first day. What was the diff <laughs> main difference, you think, from uh, skiing in the summer and skiing in the winter? Uh, the rider ability is on the skis. But That's like they get very like bouncing from the middle, right? Uh, a bit. A bit. And it's you really hard to turn, and um, basically controlling the skis is really hard. But you see on the rails, it actually works pretty good. But okay. maybe you need to, to have like uh, your skis hardened a little bit under? Yeah, yeah stiffer skis. I think we have to use more wheels. Oh yeah? Ah, that would be cool. So, but are you, are you planning, like, it looks like, it looks super awesome. Are you planning to like, make this a thing and just get people to... Start. Buy, to, to start doing this and then you're just going to be like Maybe the, the founder of a new sport. Maybe you can do Mikael Willeksen Invitational. <laughs> yeah, we actually talked about with Afterbank to invite some, uh, some ski pros <laughs> to do a um, competition against each other or a game of skate or a game of skate ski. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Excellent. I want to be there. Let us know. Yeah, we'll be there. Um, but was it dangerous? Would I you say? Would you recommend other people that have some spare skis and some spare wheels to go for it? Or yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. it was fun. It was fun. I want to see someone doing the ramp with them. It seems uh, like you're hurting yourself a little bit here. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, as I said, it's kind of hard to ride them. Yeah. Uh, I was not the only one getting hurt. Whoa, cameraman! <laughs> Ooh, wow, Stian Ro, the cameraman. He looks miserable. A little bit hurt there. <laughs> and then it's just some uh, some talking about uh, yeah, the other guys not doing it properly. Riding in lines is not skiing in the summer. <laughs> All right. So, but you made this video for as a promotion for your new website afterbang.no. Yeah. How did it go? How was the response? Uh, really good. Uh, the movie got picked up on the interweb, <laughs> interweb, yeah. internet. Yes. And uh, got cool. shared. Yeah, at, at least 30, 40 sites. Wow. No way. So That's fucking awesome. It's got. Uh, I think now I can check. Ooh, let's check the stats. My favorite. Yeah. Stats. That's is uh, 21.9 thousand views. That's wow. fucking good. That's one of the most popular skate ski videos on the internet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> Probably has to be. That's fucking cool. <laughs> and yeah, also it got picked up by uh, Tele2. Exactly, that's where I saw it. What? I see, I see like, there's one thing I get to notice, like when I came outside your door on your skis and the computer and everywhere, it says Shredwood. Yeah. What is that? It's my uh, sunglasses brand. You got your own sunglasses brand? I got it, I got it. Seriously? Is it like you were just looking at all the sunglasses and none of them were cool? So you were just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna make my own sunglass brand. Yeah. Uh, I was tired of uh, sunglasses made by plastic, so I decided to do some wooden sunglasses instead. Cool. Wow. And they're like, you see, they're layered like a skateboard. Yeah. Shit. The skate shades. Sweet. Try them on. <laughs> Definitely, they're fucking awesome. Wow, you must have like some serious facilities to be able to make them though, right? <laughs> you have yeah. to have like a compressor to, to pressure the wood together and stuff, or how do you do it? Uh, actually, I just sent emails. I did the design and picked the material and just told some guys in China how to do it. <laughs> China, man, China, it's China. all about China. Yeah. Do I look cool? Yeah, man, you look awesome. Whoa, they're fucking cool, man. They're super light as well. I expected them to be heavy, but they're they're fucking light. Yeah, and it feels good on the nose as well, huh? Yeah, perfect. Those Chinese, man, they get it right. <laughs> so, Edward! Okay, yeah, Edward. Now, and now finally Edward's done, uh, showed up. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's a skier. You mm -hmm. skier? Yeah, my name is Edward. I'm from Oslo, Norway. Uh, I've lived here my whole life, except two years in Lillehammer. Uh, I'm a skier and I work in a kindergarten. I'm 20 years old and I like to party. <laughs> cool. yeah. Great, great. Cool. This is the cool. best wrap up I've ever heard. So the new guy that arrived, he's in this very famous ski movie that hasn't uh, been premiered yet. So uh, we're lucky enough to be able to check out the trailer with you. So um, here we go. Cool graphics, next generation media, are they famous for making ski movies? Not actually, but maybe in the future. They will be. After this movie. So is this the, the second of their ski movies? Yeah. Fo a follow up. Was the first yeah, one yeah. famous? Were you in the first one as well? Yeah, I was. Not so much, but a little. Okay, now that you're a little older, more experienced, you got more shots? Yeah, a lot more shots. And this movie also is a lot better than the, ma the one we made last year. Okay, and improvements? Yeah, better camera gear and everything. So are you guys like competing or is it just, just for fun or...? Uh... Yeah, it's, it's both. Uh, someone is competing, someone is just shooting. Uh, others are just skiing for fun. And also one of the guys that's in this movie, uh, Øystein Rotten, he was in mm. the Olympics. Oh yeah? You're friends with this guy? Yeah. Cool. So, you're a legit superstar. What about uh, you? But it looks fairly dangerous from the shots <laughs> I'm seeing now. Everybody seems to hurt themselves. Yeah, we we like to have a kind of hard 
image. Yeah. <laughs> but you also fall a lot. Uh, right? Not not me, but the other guys. Oh, yes. Yeah, never fall. yeah. Cool, cool. That's your thing. You never fall. At... Yeah, yeah, kind of. That's a cool special feature for skier, I guess. Yeah, Does I that like mean it. that you're scared of falling, or does it just mean that you're just too good for the falling business? Insane uh, air control. I, I don't <laughs> like to fall, so I try to just do the tricks that I know I can. Mm. And you're famous for going backwards and spinning around a lot? <laughs> That's what I've heard. Oh, yeah. yeah, we can say so. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. And the movie's called The Hungry. When's the premiere? 27th of September. <laughs> Okay. Edward here is uh, totally ripping ass in this uh, ski movie. He's got most shots, most rotations, and he's the only guy with a line. He actually speaks in the ski movie. So, can you actually can you can you just uh, redo your line now so we can get a little feel of? Uh... <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> if it was up to me, I wouldn't put in those shots in the movie where I'm speaking. So is this what is this what? What skiing has come to, you're just too cool to talk, you just want to do your tricks and just be left alone like any other superstar? Mm, not actually, I would like to talk, but what should I talk about? There's nothing... Mm. What you can talk about, what does this movie mean for you as a skier? Mm, it means that I'm attending a pretty cool party next weekend. <laughs> that, that's, that's pretty a, much it. That's a plus. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, some, a few girls like it. Hopefully. Uh, That's pretty cool. You're gonna get it with the girls now? Yeah. Only 20 years old? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> nice, nice. No, it doesn't mean that much, but it's pretty fun to be a part of it. Yeah. But your sponsor wants you to be in movies like this, probably. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm very happy with Edward. Yeah, because <laughs> you're actually a sponsor. Yeah, yeah, sure. Edward rocks my sunglasses. Cool, cool. Excellent. You excellent. should have had some sunglasses right now, but it would l look a bit stupid since we're inside. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, but uh, <laughs> Edward and uh, Mikko? Very nice to uh, hang out with you guys and Thanks, uh, you check too. out your videos. Yeah. Afterwards, uh, where can people buy the movie if they want to see it? Uh, it's for free. On the internet? Yeah. Awesome! Yeah, that's pretty so cool. Just go on the internet and you guys can check out the ski movie in its entirety. <laughs> <laughs> on the internet. And now, over to the studio. Yeah. <laughs> So cool. Edward Strand, oh, fucking awesome skier, checking him out on uh, the internet in his movie Hungry, which should be out by just out by now for free on for the free on the internet. It's a it's a I've I've had a quick view of the movie and I would definitely recommend it. It's very good and it's free, so that's fucking cool. Oh my god, traffic is crazy here. Oh my god, our street. Now I understand why those guys are in Carl Johan all the time. 